welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the brand Pie Colors. Today I have their Tropical Dreams collection, which is a five piece collection um, that are all thermals. These are available right now, so in the description box below, I will link the Pie Color site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from this collection. So I do have five beautiful thermals to share with you today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Lorkey, and this is described as a dark magenta color changing polish to white with pink shimmer. So here is our first coat of Lorkey. This is pretty sheer here on this first coat, so it is going to have to be built up. This does have a really good formula on it though. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it stays right where you put it. I didn't have any kind of running or pulling or anything like that. So here's our second coat, and this is still a touch sheer here on two coats, so I am going to go in with three. The sprinkling of glitter in here looks really nice and dainty, but it does stand out in both the cold and the warm states. It is going to dry just like the tiniest bit textured, but it wasn't difficult to remove. Even with those little tiny micro glitters, I didn't need a peel off base coat or pure acetone for it. So here is our third coat, and this one does cover completely in three coats for me. I do, when it comes to thermals, usually like to add an extra coat, so the third coat would be my extra coat, just to make sure it covers completely in both states because the warm state is usually lighter. So there is three coats. And here is our warm state, our cold state, and a side-by-side. -side. Up next we have Sun Conure, and this is described as a deep shimmer orange purple color changing polish to bright yellow gold sparkles. Um, so this is this kind of golden yellow shade when it's warm and a deep orange shade when it's cold. So here's our first coat of Sun Conure. This one's also a little bit sheer here on this first coat, but it does cover pretty well as far as you know, the, the lighter color goes. This one also has a really nice formula. It's a little bit, again, on the thicker side, but it's that kind of thickness where it stays right where you put it. And these brushes are also nice and wide, so they are pretty easy to apply. So here's our second coat, and I had already worn this one a couple of times at this point to know that it covered completely in two coats in both the warm and the cold state, so I didn't have to add that extra third coat. Again, this one's going to dry a little bit dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, but nothing's going to stick to your nails for removal. So there is two coats. And here is our warm state. Our cold state. And then a side by side. Up next we have Tanager, and this is described as a dark blue-gray color changing polish to a vibrant teal blue with shimmer. So it is this blue gray, this deeper blue steely color when it's cold and it's a bright teal when it's warm. Here's our first coat of Tanager. This one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat. It does have to be built up with three coats. But it does have that same easy to work with formula. No running or pooling or anything like that. I also didn't have any kind of staining across the board. So here's two coats, and it does build up nicely in two coats. It just wasn't completely there in either state for me. You get a good amount of these little glitters out, and it makes it look like a nice sparkly night sky on your nails. It is absolutely beautiful. So here's our third coat, and this one does cover completely in three coats for me, though I could see it still being a little bit sheer for some. I am working in pretty thin coats with these, though. So there is three coats. Here's our warm state, the cold state, and then a side by side. Up next we have Rosella, and this is described as a dark violet with multi-chrome glitter color changing polish to a pale blue lilac. So when it's cold like this, it is this dark purple shade, and then when it warms up, it is a nice lighter blue lilac. Here's our first coat of Rosella. This one also has a really good formula, no running, pulling, staining, just a little bit on the thicker side. You get a good amount of that glitter out as well. 
and the shimmer in here stands out really, really nicely against the deeper base. So here's our second coat, and it is still pretty sheer and a little bit patchy here on two coats, so I am going to go ahead and throw on a third coat. This one is going to dry, again, just like the rest of them, a little bit dull, and I think this is the only one that I had a little bit of difficulty removing. It's not that it stuck to the nail, it's that that shimmer kind of made a mess on the skin around the nail, this one and the next one. So there is three coats. Here is our warm state, and my warm water was getting a little bit old at this point, so bear with me. Our cold state, and then a side-by-side. -side. And lastly for today, we have Birds of Paradise, and this is described as a sparkling purple with hints of green to gold color-changing polish to pink gold shimmer. So when it's warm like this, it is this bright grapey purple, and then when it's warm, it's a nice light pink. And here's our first coat of Birds of Paradise. This one also covers pretty well actually on this first coat. This is another one that I've worn before to know that it is completely opaque in two coats in both the warm and the cold state. Again, this has a really nice formula, a little bit on the thicker side, but it's very easy to control. Here is two coats, and this does cover completely in two coats for me, and again, that shimmer stands out so beautifully, but again, this shimmer kind of makes a mess on your nails, but it wasn't hard to remove, it just took like an extra cotton ball, and it does dry a little dull, so you will want a glossy top coat, so there's two coats. Here is our warm state, our cold state, and then a side-by-side. -side. So my favorite of these is Tanager, um, I hope I'm saying that right, but this is so beautiful. I love the glitters in here, and in its cold and its warm state, it looks like a night sky to me, so I really love this for those reasons. And that's it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these polishes, let me know if you plan on picking any of them up, and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye.